Oh, hi there everyone, it's Falco here, welcome back to my channel. So I've just been to the like post office place thing to pick up a parcel that I had waiting for me and I've rubbed out my address already in the car but it is something that I'm excited to try. <laughs> I'm home. Ryan! I have a package. It's not for you, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's something. And I want us to try it together. Okay. Will you try it with me? Yeah. Let's do it. Come. Come to the table. Ooh! Wait! Something I need. This is a clue. Okay. For anyone who, who maybe hasn't seen a previous video, this is Ryan. My very handsome boyfriend. Ryan thought this was going to be actual beer there, and he was like, I don't like beer. I mean, that's not even how you talk, but. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, so if you hadn't realised already from the getting of the glass, this is the um, Harry Potter butter beer, which has just been released to buy in uh, the bottle um, from the Warner Brothers Studio thing. However, interestingly, look, the return address is the Harry Potter shop at. Platform 934, which I believe is the one in um, King's Cross. <gasps> Ooh, look at it. They're like all kooky and packaged. Invoice! That will show you how much I paid for it. <laughs> it doesn't? Oh, good. <laughs> so you are only allowed to buy a maximum of three. So I obviously bought three. The packaging has all been designed by um, Mina Lina, which are the graphic designers. <laughs> who, who design all the graphic design things in the Harry Potter films. So they come in a box and it says, here you earned a drink, something from the three broomsticks you won't have tried before. What a beer. How exciting. Right, should we open one each and we'll keep on the list. This is so exciting. I don't know why. So cool, it says botanically brewed butterscotch flavour sparkling soft drink. So that's butterscotch? It. Yeah, cool. This is, I'm assuming it's meant to be the same thing that, that you can actually buy out at the studio mm -hmm. and that you can buy in um, in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Florida. There, they put this like froth on at the top so they like pour the drink in like other cups like this. Yeah. Um, and then they like put the froth on from like a separate thing. Okay, let's try it. Would you like some ice or anything? Yeah, I no, just happy to try it. Have a go at it room temperature. I'm just scared it's gonna be really fizzy after picking it up from other place. Oh my god, it smells like, it smells like, like cake! <laughs> Welcome to the three room sips, huh? <laughs> Alright, excited. Oh, I think you should try it first. Okay. You try it first. Butter beer! <laughs> Green guys! What's it like? It's oh, alright, yeah. God, it smells so sweet. <coughs> it is very sweet. No, it's not it's as sweet nice. as I thought. I feel like... I feel like it doesn't taste as much of butterscotch as it smells. No. No, no, no. It smells more than it tastes. It tastes more like, what you say, like, like a cream soda. Hmm. I like it. Mmm, 5 95 well spent. <laughs> Is that all? I expect it to be more. No, yeah, it's 5 95 But obviously like, I'm going to be able to keep them. Yeah, so the labels are exclusive. They've just been uh, designed in all the adverts that you might have seen for them on, on the interwebs. Um, it, they had a version of uh, the cup, this, with this on the front for the label. Um, and everyone's been asking where'd you get the cup and they were like oh the cup was made for promotional purposes only it's not available to buy and everyone's like but we want to buy it mm. very i think it's very silly because these they look like that whereas this actually looks like something you would see in uh, the movie i think it's very similar to cream soda and if you've seen any of the recipes online to make your own 
that is uh, the basis of it. Like you start with cream soda and then I think in England here, people use, um, so do you know Lyles that make a golden syrup? Mm -hmm. They make a, a butterscotch syrup and you mm -hmm. mix that in with that and then you mix, I think it's you mix some more of that in with some kind of <coughs> cream before you whip it. So the only thing is, is that if you wanted to veganize it, which I would have to, it's whether or not you could use a vegan cream for whipping and whip that with it mm. and whether it would work just because these aren't gluten free and vegan well there we go add that in they're also gluten free and vegan it's quite exciting to receive them and you get it in like a, a lovely box if he likes it mm -hmm. he's going in for more uh, the box looks really nice it's like sealed with a little thing that says the warner brothers studio london the making of harry potter it's almost like they've tried to make it look like you received it from uh, the three broomsticks uh thanks Mm, good. Big fan. Maybe we should give the third one to someone as a gift. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's not do that. This is really hilarious. I'm going to add this in that when I picked these up from uh, the post office, right, there was a second parcel and um, I was walking out of uh, the, uh, the post place and I was like squeezing it and I thought, they really, really weirdly feel like shoe stretchers and I opened them in the car and they are <laughs> shoe stretchers, really crap looking shoe stretchers, which neither of us have ordered. We don't know where they've come from. Um, but you know, Ryan, if you want to stretch the stretch shoes. Shoe. But I mean, they just feel so crap. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to do anything with them. Either that or a really like disturbing, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to do in this video, which is try the butter beer. And in some ways, I feel like it's the first time I'm properly showing off a lovely home. Um, so maybe my next video should be a tour of the apartment once the bathroom is complete, because you might see that I've got like paint all over my hands because we've been decorating the bathroom. That's it. Thanks for watching the butter beer. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it as well and what you think and how it compares to the one at the studio. And actually anyone who knows how it compares to the one in Florida that you get at the Wizarding World. And also if anyone's got a recipe for making the froth for the top, but making it vegan, please let me know because I do want to try that. Um, but that's it. So thanks very much for watching. Okay, I love you. Goodbye.